This is day 30, episode 18 of my modular journey. And today we'll be talking about the Dofer A135-2 uh, VCA mixer. V quad VCA, pardon me. This is a quad VCA, so it has four channels, of course. It has your four audio in, four audio out. It's got your CVs for the uh, CV mixer side. Um, if you plug in a CV here, you can pop this up, and then when you hit a note or send a gate to it, of course, it opens up. When you turn these guys up, they are they kind of bypass the CV. They seem to just, just make notes uh, ring through. Uh, these came uh, uh, with a factory jumper setting. Uh, everything was on the up. Uh, the jumper, I think it's four, five, and six were all up. And then jumper seven was off because, of course, there's only three jumpers that come with it. So what I did was, uh, following the jumper guide, is I have turned... Uh, do I have a pointer? I don't have anything pointy. Let me, let me use a patch cable to point. So jumper four... I left in the up position, but jumper five, I dropped one set, so it's in the lower position. And then I removed jumper six and put it down here on jumper seven across the bottom. And what that does is it basically changes the configuration of these input jacks here. So I now have CV1 will control row one or channel one and channel three in a stereo pair, and then CV2 We'll control channel two and four in a stereo pair. So you'll see how that how I hook that up here in a moment. Um, so, but that makes it easier because then I don't have to mult everything and, and have every every single CV handled because uh, I bought two of them. So I wanted to make sure uh, <laughs> to try to optimize my my cableage. Uh, another thing that they have is uh, there's this, these jacks, these summing jacks at the bottom. The all over here basically means all four channels will sum into that. I don't use uh, either. I actually plug in my left and rights right here and I'm done with it. These are strictly my mixers, my CV VCAs. So let's get them in the board. Um, they're going to sit right down here next to chainsaws. So like one of them will go here, uh, we'll, which will deal with this chainsaw and its filter, and then the, a VCA. And then the next one plugs in right next to it. All right, the two A135s are mounted in the rack. Let's get some power going here. All right, so for how I'm going to use the Dopefer A135-2s, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, first, I'm going to wire up my chainsaw. Uh, so you've seen this a thousand times. I'm basically taking the out to an in, and then the or the left out in, and then the right out in to two separate chainsaws because I want to maintain my stereo field. And then I will take the, uh, the out. Uh, for you know, out of low pass of both of them and now this is this is where those jumper settings came in because i'm going to put channel one here and or i should say i'm going to put left here i'm going to put right here because that's how they're paired and then of course the output is going to be left and right get those out of the way so now you could also, um, I, I guess, you could put, once you have all four of them filled, you could sum it down to one, uh, and then put it into something that's like you know like a mono um, delay and 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 turn it into stereo. But I, I'm just going to preserve stereo all the way through. So that's how that's the signal path getting from the oscillator through the filters through the VCA to the mixer. And now we can't hear anything because there's no CV. If I turn up the audio on channel one, I now hear you know, my beautiful chainsaw. So now I want to CV that, so I'm going to grab my gate from my System 8. I'm just going to plug gate right into the CV1. I'm going to plug volt per octave from the same... System 8 into volt per octave on the chainsaw. And now, oh, you have to turn up the CV. CV1.
Beautiful, right? So now you basically have a gated VCA'd uh, oscillator. You can turn off the reverb. You know, chainsaw sounds good enough without reverb. So that is exactly how I plan to use these. I will probably, uh, as you can see, I have two more channels. So another stereo pair could go here, uh, which I usually drop uh, something like uh, the 4MS Ensemble down into here. You know, the out A and B come into here to take the second channel. Um, this other chainsaw over here will go through a filter and then it will occupy one of these because it's only mono. I think the, the, the filter I have here, Belgrad, it is only mono, so it'll occupy one of these, leaving three more channels for anything else. Plates already has uh, a built-in VCA well, through the level, so I don't really need one there. Rings is nice and resonant. We could drop its ringing out by lowering the damping here, so at least for right now, I don't really have another need for more uh, VCAs, but it doesn't hurt to have them. <laughs> like everybody says, you can never have too many VCAs. Uh, the good news about these uh, dopers is they were about 119 bucks a piece, so they were pretty cheap. Uh, so if I ever need more VCAs, I'm probably going to go this route. All right, so uh, that's it for episode 18 for the Dofer A135-2 quad VCAs. Uh, coming up next will be the Mr. Siri Ornament and Crime. Hey, I said it right this time. <laughs> Ornament and crime. Uh, stay tuned for that.